Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News. Good afternoon. The news continues as we approach 1230. Bill Bryant and Barbara Bailey for WKYT. Okay, don't leave your house without the umbrella today. <laughs> You'll be sorry. Yeah. The rain is going to be with us most of the day, and there's more wet weather ahead as we roll through the week. WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris is here now with a quick look at that forecast. Micah? Well, the quick look is a wet one, and we're looking outside. Look, we've had this rain starting off since about 1, 2 a.m., and it's still going. We're upwards of 1 inch right now, especially across central and western zones. That does include places like Anderson County and work your way into Fayette County. Fayette County, we're sitting here at one inch of rain. We're adding to that because we can actually hear it there on the roof uh, as it flies on by us. Now, that's moderate rain. We're even getting some breaks over toward the east and southeast. But it is just continuous rain for Frankfurt. As you can see, those roadways are very wet. Ponding on the roads is a possibility. I don't see major impacts with this in terms of flooding. We're not looking at major flooding issues. But look at London, where you have had breaks 59 degrees. You'll be in the lower 60s when it's all said and done. But rain for all the rest of the afternoon at 58 degrees. The focus is that flooding issue. That's our main focus the next several days. And notice I said several and not a couple. We got a long ways to go, and I'll show you when can we can finally move that rain on out of here. Coming up. We'll see you in a bit. We thank you. In between melting snow and all of the rain, waterways across Kentucky have a lot more water in them than usual. Now, check out this eyewitness video of Cumberland Falls shot on Sunday. There's a lot more water going over the falls right now. WKYT's Phil Pendleton has more in our top story at 12:30. Phil? It might be an understatement to say that there is a lot of water going over the falls, but in fact, there's really not as much water here as I witnessed on Friday. But officials here in Whitley County are keeping a close eye on the situation, the rising Cumberland and the fears that it could reach its highest levels in more than a decade and a half. Most of those fears have subsided since the weekend, but the emergency management director actually tells me the river levels have dropped since then, and they say that unless we get a lot more rain, say four more inches of rain, the river levels should be stable. Still, the amount of water going over the falls is impressive. The, the lower lying places and, you know, how, how they're dealing with it and stuff, and it's kind of amazing to see it when it does happen. All of this water coming down the Cumberland River is going to deposit itself into Lake Cumberland. It is already doing that. And as I was driving down through Pulaski County, you could see a lot of that debris in Lake Cumberland. Of course, a lot of that will settle on the shoreline when the lake levels lower as the river levels drop as well. In Whitley County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Phil, thank you. And Whitley County officials say most of the roads they had to close Thursday and Friday are back open now. In several counties, officials are keeping a close eye on water levels. Emergency management in Scott County says there are several spots where waters could rise begin because of the rain. They're ready to respond if they need to, but tell us they don't expect any major problems. We're not expecting an awful lot, uh, just nuisance flooding. We will see some overtopping of roads, some bridges that may be blocked for a little while. Now, emergency management says water is pooling on some roads, so drivers need to be careful of hydroplaning. And rain and remaining snow are being blamed for a crash on a central Kentucky road today. The Montgomery County Sheriff's Office says part of Highway 11 collapsed under a UPS truck when it drove onto the shoulder this morning. The collapse caused it to fall off of an embankment and land on its side. Diesel from the truck spilled, but it is being cleaned up now. We're told the truck had empty propane tanks, pesticides, and herbicides on board. None of those leaked out. Kentucky held its annual statewide tornado drill this morning. Yates Elementary in Lexington is one of many schools that took part in the exercise. The school has students in portable outdoor classrooms, making it even more critical they practice what to do should a tornado strike. Um, we practice drills monthly. We have a fire drill every month, and then we alternate back and forth between an earthquake drill and severe weather. So this isn't the first time that students have practiced. Um, we have to just be ready if something happens. March is Severe Weather Awareness Month in Kentucky. 
Police say a parent accidentally shot a four-year-old girl. The shooting happened Sunday on Lowell Avenue in Campbellsville. Police say one of the child's parents was repairing the gun when it went off, hitting the girl in her leg. She is recovering now at Cosair Children's Hospital in Louisville, and police are still investigating all the circumstances. We have new details in an early morning robbery. Nicholasville police have released these pictures of the holdup at the Speedway on North Main Street. Police say two masked men grabbed the clerk and forced him to open the register. Police tell us they arrived within two minutes, but the robbers had already run off with cash. State police are investigating a robbery at a Wolf County business. It happened this morning at the Shell Station in Campton. Few details have been released, but state police dispatchers say no one was hurt. The gas station has been closed for several hours since the robbery. It's not clear if police know who they're looking for. In Lexington, a man suffered burns while trying to put out a grease fire with snow. The fire happened at a home on Mount Rainier Drive near the Tates Creek Country Club this morning. Firefighters say the man needed to go to the hospital for burns, but he is expected to be okay eventually. If you have a grease fire, firefighters say you should smother it with something like flour instead of using water, or as he did in that case, the snow. Just uh, probably in desperation, but uh, hopefully he'll be all right. You know? Yeah. One type of diet may lower your risk for colorectal cancer. Also, new findings about hormone replacement therapy and heart health. Ebony Williams has details in this Better Living report. Women taking hormone replacement therapy for menopause symptoms might be damaging their heart. That's according to British researchers who tracked 40,000 postmenopausal women. They found HRT did not protect against cardiovascular disease. In fact, they say it might even increase the risk of stroke. Vegetarians may have a lower risk of colorectal cancer. Researchers in California reported vegetarians had a 22% lower risk of all colorectal cancers compared to non vegetarians. Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in the U.S. And researchers at Oxford say they've isolated the human ouch zone, the part of the brain related to pain. Experts examined the brain images of patients experiencing pain and found the area known as the dorsal posterior insula seems to be responsible for actually how much something hurts. Those are some of the day's top health stories. Ebony Williams, CBS News, New York.